schließe. All pump for your drive. Yeah, now the all pump. Millings. But it's not a high volume. Right. Because this is the problem we've got with these. If you put a high volume, it's going to pump the oil up to the rockers really, really quick and run out of oil. This is what we call a high pressure pump, but standard standard pump, they call it, you know? But 10% more pressure. So if you've got, a, as an example, say 25 on idle, it'll be 35 on idle pressure. That's not going in. Doesn't like it. Here we go. So I'm going to turn it around. So it's just easy for me to put in because I've got to sit there muck around with the pump. That's it, the pump's here. I've already put the I put fluid in it. Yep. To prime it. How cool these are. Now I'm using the same Teflon type bearings in it. Yep. An eagle rod, lightweight, I've been forged, a forged piston. Check out the wheel ring where it sits. Oh wow. Into yep. the gudgeon. Jesus. And that's because of the stroke, obviously. Yep. Yep, so I'll loop all these up. I'm using a 6 inch 125 thou long con rod. So we're going to put a short piston. The idea of it is, and this is swinging around in the engine, the piston's going up and down. If you've got a short rod, it's doing this. <coughs> Using a longer rod, it's doing this. It's not moving side to side as much. No. You know what I mean? So it's less effort, more power. That's what we want. We want to get more power out of it. Less effort, more power. So I'll lube them up, get them ready. Now the, the ball, I had to get a diamond home. And the only bloke that done it for me, love you Joe. It's your best mate. <laughs> Best mate, done it. He's got the, one of the best hunting machines in Australia, a <laughs> diamond, and he just done it for me, ripped it into it. Tenth hour over uh, is the piston. Now, I haven't got a sleeve enough for this one because I've got a four inch tenth. No, I'll probably four make them. Tenth hour over. Tenth hour over, you know the sleeves that I use to put the, the pistons in the tool? Yep. I haven't got one. I've got, I've got, um, standard, I've got, what do they call it, 5,000, 20,000, 30, 40, 60, but I haven't got 10. It's not of a very common don't. size, but <laughs> the LSs, the reason uh, I make them, you can get a 5,000 oversized piston, so the balls really don't wear out that much, you know. Oh, I love it, man. Look at that. These bearings are upper and lower shells. People fall for it. Don't make a mistake. Look at the back of the bearing shell. The number's on it. It's got a part number and it says R, U. That means up. L means lower, which is the bottom cap. Chamfer meets with the chamfer of the rod. So that chamfer there, the bearing, the crank, the radius there. Yep. Designed to meet like that. That's why that is like this. Look. See the chamfer? Yep. Goes like that on the rod. The other one, it's going to face this way. Chamfer to the yeah, you can see common the, sense. The radius on the Yeah, crank. the radius, that's it. Yeah, people make big mistakes on that one. They put them back to the front. People think it takes five minutes to do a motor, man. It doesn't take long to assemble it, but getting it ready. You never problem. see the blueprinting process. Nah, nah. <laughs> you've got everything. The, the balancing takes hours. The, the honing. The, it took me, took Joe a whole day to hone it. Because you let it cool off. You go back to it. You, you check it again. And again. Okay. So I take another, a little bit less, a little bit more, whatever, off the bottom, off the top. You put a torque plate on this too. We tensioned it up. So I had the, the main caps on it, not with these new bolts, I put the old bolts in, but the, the head studs, I put on it with the head gasket, tensioning it up, then I honed the block. So that way we've got a distorted cylinder, that's 
going to be perfectly round and we're not going to have any um, blow by issues but a perfect seal what do we have here? look at the size of this Jesus huh? that's a that's 716 thread you know, uh, size huge that's one last one I've got attention anyway the last bolt I really tension them while you went out. <clears throat> Alright, next step. So we've got our GM Motorsport cam in there, which you can buy off of. We already tried these, they're pretty good cam. <laughs> <laughs> they go uh, pretty hard. Our big Conrad's Eagle. I beam rods, our forged pistons, our Teflon coated bearings, AARP stud kit, our genuine remain seal housing, our single row German and what they call eyeless chains kit, beautiful chain. We're up to the plate. Where's my plate gone? Right here. Now, windows. Windows. I have to cut them out. Because the stroker, the, the rods hit it. I've got to check it because I, I didn't know uh, you've got to put it together and check it. I've done it before, I've done it once before this stroker kit. So look how close they go to the. I'll still have to get it anyway to make sure I haven't stuffed up here because. Ooh. Very close, you see that? Oh yeah. So I'm going to bend them a bit too. We'll screw them down. And i bend them just for... Because I can. Two seals. I already put the black one on there. But you try it on the on the pump and that. See what's... See that goes in. Let's try that. The fatter one, let's see look, the size difference. It's like being fat. Yeah, okay. So we'll put the fat one in first. I'll try it. I'll try it backwards to see what it feels like. And that's the fat one that goes in there. So this is wrong. I'm not going to put that on. So you get two in the kit? You get two in the kit. Put the wrong one in. Happy days with you all like. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I think you've seen them before. Yeah, so it's got a step off, in Yeah, yep. because that's got a step like that. Yep. That's just a, I don't know if it's, um, Extra insurance on yeah. the clamping. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. It can't be bad if it's good and better than nothing anyway. But, um, I reckon it'd be too good. I haven't had any issues yet with, um, with, um, with and without, you know what I mean? ARP, again. Jesus, look at the size of it. That one? Yeah. <laughs> we can put this, um, this grey stuff on it to slide and on the on the crank as much as I can there so it doesn't pick up on the thing and around the outside there too just for the hell of it you know so we've got that covered now I'm going to pull the block out a bit but again because I can't use my tool that I made for it Back then, for this, to line, to line up the seal, because a seal is not, there's no pins to, to hold it, you know what I mean? No dowel pins. Yep. So the cover floats on everything. Okay, the timing cover. See that? Yeah, okay. So if I put this cover on an angle like that, it's going to leak oil, isn't it? So we're going to centralise that seal, and I had a tool, I made a tool that centralises it, but because I've got a keyway in it, the tool that I've got is an old harmonic balancer that I've cut without a keyway. You with me? Yep. Because they don't all come out with keyways, only the special ones do. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to get my gaskets and we'll send it. We'll send it. Okay, so I'm going to put these in. I'm not going to tighten them. Slowly. Okay, 
I'll look at them on my finger right there. That. I'm going to check this. By getting a pick. Yeah. The idea of the wire in the keyway, it's still there. That means it didn't come out and flip around. You with me? Yep, I'm yeah. following. Yep. I'm listening. Yep. So that's why I put that there. So now, just hit that in. Now this, see that? Yep. The seal's lined up. So what I'll do is just get it roughly central there. Yeah, and now I can tighten up my bolt. Done. I'm not going to put any glue because we're they're going to put a different sump on a big windage sump. Yeah. It's coming from Sydney, so it's just a waste of time putting glue on that. I'm just going to sit it on the sump. They're not going to use it on this car. Yeah. It's but, getting um, a special special sump for it. 